The iPad Pro 2022 promises new features, such as reverse charging, a better M2 performance processor, and a new dynamic island feature. But it has some cons that you might not be aware of. In today's video, don't rush iPad Pro 2022 yet. Hidden cons you don't know yet. We take you through all the downsides of the 2022 iPad Pro. iPad Pro 2022 According to Bloomberg's Mark Gurman and other iPad Pro 2022 leaks, Apple Inc. is working on a new iPad Pro with wireless charging and the first iPad mini redesign in six years, seeking to continue the momentum for a category that saw rejuvenated sales during the pandemic. Probably in October, just over a year after the release of the 2021 Apple iPad Pro, this iPad boasts a breathtaking XDR display, blazing fast 5G wireless and cellular connectivity, and a mind-blowing M1 performance chip, which Apple believes makes the iPad Pro the fastest device of its kind. This new M1 performance chip has an 8-core CPU that delivers up to 50% faster performance and an 8-core GPU that provides up to 40% faster graphics performance, which means that you can play games with console-quality graphics at high frame rates and more. Impressive. The new iPad Pro 2022 promises to be better. It is rumored to have an M2 processor, which will give a better experience than the M1, a better battery performance, better camera quality, and a new design that will feature a glass back to enable wireless charging. This new design, however, might be a disadvantage to the upcoming iPad Pro. We will soon see why, so stay tuned. The iPad Pro 2022 M2 chip will be faster and a better energy conserver than the M1 chip. Johnny Srauji is Apple's Senior Vice President of Hardware Technologies. He gives more insight about the M2 processor. Together, they rip through CPU-intensive tasks using very little power. When we look at the multi-core CPU performance of M2 compared to M1, it delivers 18% greater performance. And compared to the latest 10-core PC laptop chip, the CPU in M2 delivers nearly two times faster performance at the same power level. And M2 delivers the peak performance of the PC chip while using a quarter of the power. Now let's compare M2 to the latest 12-core PC laptop chip which needs dramatically more power to deliver an increase in performance. So it's in a thicker, hotter, more noisy system with less battery life. M2 delivers nearly 90% of the peak performance of the 12-core chip while using just a quarter of the power. This is what we mean by the power-efficient performance of Apple Silicon. The 2022 iPad Pro will come with a better user experience, but there are some downsides you need to know. Let's take a look at them. Some apps might not work. It is true the 2022 iPad Pro might be faster, having a more explicit camera and sound effects, and a bigger screen. But what might you're yet to know is that it might not support your favorite application. For example, if you're a fan of Instagram, you might want to consider your option of waiting for the 2022 iPad Pro, because despite several complaints, there's no sign that Apple is willing to get an official Instagram app for the upcoming iPad Pro. Subscribe to our channel when Apple makes the device ready, we will be the first to give you an iPad Pro 2022 review. Adam Mosseri, the head of Instagram, has stated that even though this company gets asked about an official Instagram app for iPad, it's still just not a big enough group of people to be a priority. He also added Instagram hopes to have an iPad app at some point, but the company is currently very heads down on other things, according to Mac rumors. If this does not change, iPad users will still be forced to use the iPhone version of Instagram. This is not the only app limitation of the upcoming iPad Pro. We will talk about an even more constricting one soon. Stay tuned. Wireless charging. Again, Bloomberg reports that Apple could introduce a new feature in the 2022 iPad Pro that would enable the wireless charging feature on the iPad for the very first time. Apple is also testing reverse wireless charging support to allow the iPad Pro to charge other devices. These rumors suggest that the new glass back design in the upcoming iPad Pro might be similar to what we have in the iPhone 8, enabling both wireless and reverse wireless charging. Similar to what we have in iPhones, but rare to iPads, wireless charging would allow the 2022 iPad Pro to be placed on a charging surface to top up its battery. However, Wireless charging would be a new feature. You can place a wireless charging compatible device, such as an iPhone or AirPods, on the back of the first iPad Pro to recharge that device. 
That would be a cool feature, but it has downsides. Firstly, the glass back can easily be broken and would require extra money to repair it. Many have also complained about the wireless charging possibility. It means the new iPad would take forever to charge, but very likely for its battery to train quickly. Do you think these new features would be good additions? Let us know what you think about this in the comment section. OLED Display There have also been rumors of a better OLED display feature that Apple plans to add to the upcoming iPads. But you have to wait till maybe 2024 before you can have any, because the 2022 iPad Pro will not have this feature, despite being said to be an upgrade of the 2021 12.9-inch iPad Pro, which already runs on a mini LED display. This two-stack tandem OLED display is rumored to use two layers to display its red, green, and blue pixels, which would make this display brighter, better, and longer lasting. But you'll have to wait for next generation iPads, because the 2022 iPad won't have this feature. I am sorry. Apple Store Bound Have you ever needed an application that is not available on the App Store? I have been in such a situation too. Sadly, the 2022 iPad Pro seems not to solve this problem. Unlike other brands that give the option to download and install APK files, Apple doesn't provide this option. There's no official sources aside from the App Store that you can get applications from. Despite several complaints from users, we expected to have this option in the 2022 iPad Pro. But to our disappointment, we have to stick to only the apps available on Apple Store. Despite these cons, the upcoming iPad Pro will give a better user experience. Watch our video on iPad Pro 2022, interesting changes coming, new dynamic island feature and price to experience. It will give you all you need to know about the iPad. See you in the following video.